Oh wow, I'm actually trying to make a video on a freaking 2022 game running on the Intel Celeron N2840 and Intel HD graphics Jesus Christ. Oh well, now, since this is a very recent game, we are of course going to use a low-end config mod, which, thankfully, exists, made by the great YouTuber, RemOS Gaming. The game's config files are located in Users App Data Local Multiversus Saved Config Windows Client Now here's Remo's low-end config mod, which is divided into low mode, potato mode, and extreme potato mode. Wow. For each mode, we have three resolutions to choose from, 1280 by 720, 800 by 600, and 640 by 480, as I do in my benchmark videos. We are first going to try out the highest resolution, and after that we will give the other two resolutions a go. I downloaded the Steam version of the game, there's also an Epic Games version, but I went for the Steam version since Steam is much faster than Epic Games launcher. I even disabled the Steam overlay, and I optimized Steam a bit by messing with its other settings. Again we will use Memory Reduct. And now that we are done with the optimizations, let's see if the Celeron N2840 and its awesome integrated graphics can run a 2022 game, or more like launch a 2022 game. Holy crap, ladies and gentlemen, the game actually works, however thanks to the low-end config, the graphics look like a load of crap, I mean look at Wonder Woman's eyes, also I'm pretty sure the background isn't supposed to look like this, the sprites also look like poop for some reason, and yes, I'm actually going to play against real-time players and not bots, and I'm going to let the game decide which character to use for each match, so yeah. Dear God, 10 FPS despite the extreme potato low end config, although I'm currently testing the nicest of the three available resolutions in the mod. Also I suck at fighting games, so this should be quite amusing.
Okay, time to try out the 800 by 600 config. By the way, now Wonder Woman looks even worse, and also a bit stretched. But at least we are now getting 15 to 20 FPS and not 11 FPS. I mean, we still gained 18 gold, as a match bonus. Finally, let's give the config with the worst resolution of the 3 a go.
Overall, I'm really impressed that a 2022 game actually works on the Intel Celeron N2840 and Intel HD graphics bay trail. Okay, actually, I'm not all that surprised it works, as this game uses Unreal Engine 4 and runs on DX11, just like Dragon Ball Fighters and Tekken 7, both of which are by the way, also fighting games like Multiversus, and do work with my specs. Also an Intel Core i3 laptop with Intel HD 4000 can get like what? 50 fps in this game with this low end config, so yeah, I'm actually in fact, not all that impressed.